we want to get to the place where we're designing the life that we want, we have to understand some of these laws. We have to understand these laws of cause and effect. We have to understand that we are in control, that you're in control. The old saying is uh, in, in uh, uh, for entrepreneurs, if, if it is to be, it's up to me. If it is to be, it's up to me. So that means you got to take control over all of these things. This is this is the message. This is the message. I think uh, I think we just dropped it in the chat, Ellen. Thanks, uh, thanks, Diane. She just dropped it in the chat. Um, but yeah, that's like a. By the way, that's like a two hour plus interview. Uh, Dame Dash them talking about again mindset, how we get to the life that we want to create. This is all that we talk about here on this call. How do how do we design a life you don't need a break from? How do you get to the highest, grandest vision of your life? And all of this comes with personal growth, internal growth. That's what I want you to take from that, that conversation. You're in control. What you put into this is what you're going to get out of it. A lot of times, again, we just don't have the knowledge. We haven't gotten the information we need to be able to take our lives to that direction. So that's what, what we're doing. I'm helping you. We're all helping each other get, to, get, get the seeds planted so we can water those seeds, take our lives to, to, to where we need them to go. The learning self, learning self, that's the key. Learning about you. In the text though, in the text, 177 Mental Toughness Secrets, it talks about the law of cause and effect. Something that 19 Keys just talked about. He said, hey, many people want to talk about the law of attraction, right? Just I just have positive thoughts and I hope that it works out. Obviously, you you, you all know having a positive mindset is, is the only way to get to a positive life, right? You can't have negative thinking and get to a positive life. So at least that is a part of the recipe, but it's not the only thing. Then you have to work. You have to work. You have to actually put in the work. You actually have to have the disciplines. You actually have to put in the time, the effort, the energy in order to design the thing that you want, to invest in yourself. Again, you guys know we're in the money business, so we talk. We can talk money. Investing, something I say a lot when we're having these financial conversations with people is before you have an investing habit, you have to have a savings habit. Say that all the time. Because people want to jump to investing, but really can't even save money. The, the difference is investing is long term. It's you doing something with a long term mindset, with you being able to see in seven years what this is going to be. In 10 years, this is what it's going to be. That's how you invest. Because now you can put investment in something. You can deposit into something that you know is just going to be for future return. You know you're not going to see it right now, but you don't want to see it right now. You want it to compound. You want it to grow. You want to get better. So when we start investing in ourselves, in our health, in our wealth, in our mindset, the only way you can really do that is if you have a long-term vision, if you have a long-term thought. That's why you'll have the habit of investing in yourself. But there's certain laws. There's certain things we got. you have to understand in order to take your life to that next level. Here's what it says in the text. It says, champions understand the cause. Uh, understand cause and effect. It says the masses tend to focus on effects rather than on the causes that create the effects. The world class goes directly for the cause and lets the effects take care of themselves. This is most evident in the area of weight loss. America is the fattiest, con fattest country in the world and more than 65% of our population is overweight, 27% are obese. Probably more now since the writing this book. This effect is leading many Americans down the road to diabetes, heart disease, and death. So how do the masses solve the problem? They swallow pills, they go on crash diets, they starve themselves until they can no longer stand it. All these methods treat the effects. They're an external solution to an internal problem. The cause is the way people think about food and exercise, and the solution is to change the thoughts. When those thoughts are upgraded from middle class to world class, the weight problem gently fades and never returns. The internal problem is solved with an internal solution. Our level of health and fitness, like everything else in our lives, is a direct manifestation of how we think. It's the outward appearance of our internal thoughts. Average thinkers are unaware of this truth and would most likely reject it as being too pedestrian to, walk, to, to work, even if they were made aware of it. Like most of the secrets of the world class, it's simple and straightforward. 
cause and effect are no different, yet the great ones go from knowing this to actually using it. That's one of the reasons we call them champions. Cause and effect, ladies and gentlemen, cause and effect. That's the key. There's something really important in here. He's segmenting health right now, right? In here, it's talking about health because this is important. But just understand, this is all the areas of our life. It says, uh, so how do the masses solve this problem? They swallow pills, go on crash diets, starve themselves until they can no longer stand it. All of these methods treat the effects. They're an external solution to an internal problem. The cause is the way you think about health. The cause, the effects, you trying to figure out the business, figure out the new job, get the new thing, right? Invest more money, build wealth, all that stuff. You're trying to figure out the effects. The cause is how you think about money, how you think about your life, how you think about your habits. So that's why if you want to change your habits with money, with health, with your relationships, you have to change how you think about those things. So just in this example, how do you, how do you think about your health? How do you think about what you consume? Do we, do we eat? Again, I've worked with my health coach. It's funny. He had actually just, <laughs> just messaged me to go on like a little mini challenge over these next, over this next week. Cause we're constantly challenging ourselves. We're comfortable being uncomfortable. We constantly push ourselves. We'll go on random fast. We'll randomly fast from alcohol or right. Like anything that that is you know destructive to us will randomly just be like hey let's let's just cut this out because of how we think about health and what we consume how we think about it we understand what this is for it's for long lo longevity a lot of people eat out of a place of either boredom because they're not actually hungry right programming because we, we we've been told we're supposed to eat a certain way right but we don't actually know what's right for our body we don't know that our body should consume less, right? One of the first things my health coach told me since we're on this health topic, one of the first things he told me was the reason why most people are obese is because our bodies don't work. Or we're not, our bodies are not working in the proper manner. Properly, your body is supposed to be used, your body's energy, right? The energy that your body is using is supposed to go to rejuvenating your cells, cleaning your blood, cleaning the, you know, your organs, that's what your body's energy should go to. About 80% of your body's energy should go to that. 20% of your body's energy should go to breaking down food. In America, it's flopped. 80% of most of our body's energy goes to breaking down food. Why? Because we're constantly eating. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, constant, big meals. It's, it's happening. So that's how our bodies aren't even operating in the right way. So only 20% can actually go to cleaning our liver and right making sure that we're good and our blood and our organs, only 20% of your body does that because we're spending so much energy breaking down all the food that we're putting in. So once we flip that, our bodies can start to go back to work and work the way that they, that, that they should. That's information that allowed me to say, oh, okay, I'm thinking about food differently, right? I have a culinary background. I thought it was always, right, three meals a day. Protein, starch, veg, right? Like I, I think differently. But once I got that bit of information, I could do different things. And I said, oh, now I can fast. Oh, okay, I have no problem. Last week I did two days, just fruit. Why? Because a couple of days before that, we had a barbecue and I was eating a bunch of stuff. So now I'm giving my body time to calibrate. But that came from information, how I thought about my health. So this is why this law of cause and effect is so important for us to understand. You're in control. The cause is our thinking, though. If there's something that you want to change, you have to change how you think about that thing. It was, you know, this, again, happens in many different situations, many different scenarios. Right here, we're just talking about health. But, uh, but understand, these are internal things that we, that, we, that we have to focus on, not the external. It's always the internal. It's always, how do I think about this? How can I change how I think about this? If you want to change how you think about something, it's why you're hopping on these calls. It's because there's something that you're going to hear. There's some piece of information. There's a resource that you're going to get that's going to be able to say, oh, you know what? I think I, I see it that way more than I see it this way. Someone's going to give you a book. You're going to get around the right people. You're going to start having the conversations that change how you think. 
This is why we talk about, one, get around better people. Get around new people. If you want to change something on the external world, you have to personally become better. You have to add more value to yourself. You have to become more valuable. So you have to get around people that are valuable. You have to get around new people that think differently. Everyone around you doesn't necessarily have to think the same way. It's oftentimes a lot better that a lot of the people that you're around think differently. They give you a different perspective. They give you a different perspective on life. They give you a different perspective on your health, on your business, on entrepreneurship, on money, on your relationships. You have to get a different perspective in order to have some of these things change. So that's that's key. Get around new people. Get, get, get new information. Learn. Constantly learning. A never-ending cycle of learning. If health is an area that you feel like you want to change, study it. Read some books. Listen to some podcasts. Try to get new information. Not the, not the dieting information, right? Not the fix on, oh, let me call, let, let me try to change this effect. Let me go on a diet. No, let me understand how is my body, like, how can I be at top health? Like, what does it look like? What does my life look like if I'm in perfect health? And once you have the vision of that, then you start to see, well, what am I doing that's taking me either towards that or away from that? And you start understanding more about you and how you're operating, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you make the biggest changes in your life. It's by learning you, knowledge of self, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If any of you are familiar with them, the top law for Maslow's hierarchy of needs is knowing self self actualization that's the highest level of need so how close are you to self actualization how well do you know you the causes why you are the way you are why you think the way you do why you got the programming why your life is in the position that it is again these talks aren't for everyone cuz we have to take accountability and accountability is tough accountability is tough but always remember your life is where it is because you've made some decisions that have put your life in this position. Good, bad, and different, that is the case. You have to own that. You have to own that because once you own it, you can change it. Can't blame someone else. Can't blame the circumstances. Can't blame the people around. Can't blame any of that because then you lose control. Then you don't think you can change anything. Then our lives start to spiral because we don't have the hope that things will change. But as soon as you take back control of your life, you take back control of your emotions, something 19 Key said, he actually said, we're not controlling these things, we're ruling over these things, right? We have, we're, it's not ownership, ownership we're, 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 we're ruling over these things. So do you rule over your emotions? Do you rule over your day-to-day -day mindset? This is the stuff we have to pay attention to, to be aware of so that we can design the life that we want, ladies and gentlemen. This is the goal. This is the goal. This is why you're here, to be able to get to that place where, as Oprah says, highest, grandest vision of your life. Highest, grandest vision, like whatever that is for you, and then we start going after that. This quote here says, society constantly expends its efforts to correct effects rather than causes, which is one reason why development of human consciousness proceeds so slowly. Got to get faster. We got to get better. Got to, got to move quicker to, we have, a, have to have a sense of urgency to our goals, a sense of urgency to get to the life that we want. It's going to come with work. It's going to come with you understanding laws like cause and effect that if it is to be, it's up to me. I've got myself in this position by how I think, by how I am, by whatever causes or things I've chosen to do. So now because I own that, because I take responsibility for that, I can change and I will change. How? I'm going to have some more discipline. I'm going to put some more habits in. I'm going to get some more information. I'm going to learn a little bit more. I'm going to take control of my time a bit more. I'm going to get around better people. I'm going to change how I think about these things. I'm going to change how I think about my health. I'm going to change how I think about my future. 
We change how I think about my relationships, my children, my business. We're changing how we think. Then we can see the changes happen in our life. The action step for today says, look at the major areas of your life and ask what's holding you back from getting better. Look at the major areas of your life and ask what's holding you back from getting better. Next, identify the causes that are creating the effects and set a goal to attack the cause and solve the problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to solve these problems. We got to get better. We got to get better. Sparkle, I see your, I see your message. She asked me, how can I get uh, notifications? Um, I'm not sure how any of you get these notifications. I send, I send out a message. I send out a message. I think the link somewhere. Um, but uh, Sparkle, do me a favor, message me your, your number or your email, and I'll make sure you get on the rotation of um, getting these morning mindset calls. Uh, again, please continue to share this with anybody that you know needs to hear it. We are doing this so that we can create a community and a group of people that want to take their lives to the next level, and society normally doesn't foster an environment for us to do that. Right. If you just kept it out in society or you just stayed out there, it's likely that you're going to end up like everybody else. Right. It's very easy to fall into comfort. It's very easy to fall into temptation. It's very easy to fall into doubt. It's all very easy to fall into this stuff. So we have to be intentional about getting around people that support us to get us to where we want to go. Right. Like that we're all headed in the same direction. That's why we do this. So thanks, Sparkle. I got you. Um, for everybody that's here, again, I love you. I want you to win. You deserve to win. Your life deserves to be better. You, Everyone around you deserves to have all the things that you desire for them. But most importantly, you deserve to have these things as well. It's too crowded down here at the bottom, guys. Time to get to the top of this thing.